Oh. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna see if we can trick a fish into biting one of these little toys. So last week we were in Hoopersville, Maryland and we stumbled across an antique fishing store. And uh, this place was really cool. It had stuff from a long time ago and a lot of the stuff wasn't workable, but we did find something pretty interesting. Oh yeah. Vinyl baits. So I, I, I saw these on the shelf and they stood out to me because they look like little kids toys, but they have hooks in them. And I haven't seen baits like this before. I mean, I, I usually use my swim baits, like my gulps and my DOAs. Um, I don't usually use stuff like this. So today we're gonna give them a try and we're gonna see if they work. We're gonna see how they work. We're gonna see if, you know, they're better than, than the little gulp swim baits I use. They've got a little crab here. They've got um, a helgamite, crickets, a spider, a, another cr kind of cricket, I guess. And then they've got these, I don't know what these are, but critter. Look at that frog. Okay, so we are fishing like brackish water right now. And I think that the crab would work well. One of these little helgamites, even though they're not salt water, this, this would look like something you would see in the water. This little black guy. Maybe this. Which one would you try? The, the species of fish that are running here are striped bass, red drum, flounder, croaker, spot. Perch. Perch. What would you throw? Pick one of these. Comment it below. So, first up, I'm gonna try the crab, because I see little crabs like this swimming around here all the time and fish chasing them. So I think that this guy will work. I actually already have it tied on. So. So now, it's so light. It's like, it, I can't cast this. I really just have to dip it in, or I'm, maybe I'll put a sinker on it. But first I'll try floating it. We'll see what happens. wouldn't it work? It looks like a little baby crab. Look. <laughs> it's a toy. The hook is definitely too small. Got him. All right, so the crab works. Yes. We should try a different bait. Perfect. I think I'm gonna try this one or this one? I think they're gonna like this color, but I think this is gonna look similar to what's swimming around down there. Let's try this one first. Next one is this little creature thing. It could pass off as a leech, it could pass off as a little minnow. I don't know, I think maybe if it just flashes in front of, of a fish, it'll get a reaction strike. Let's try it out. Another rockfish. Nice. All right. So they're eating the, the little toy. This one ate it as soon as it went down. Honestly, I think it's just they're they're hitting it out of reaction. It doesn't really matter what it is. I could throw whatever. I think. I'm just kidding. It's all skill, guys. Very nice. Little tiny schoolie. Let's see if I can catch something else. Anyways, that was on this one after like a million bites. I think it was it was like little perch pecking at it. And then I saw some some activity on the surface and I threw this at it and it was pretty much instantly hit it. I'm gonna try again. Bites. Woo! 
another little one. There's a lot of them tonight. Yeah, and they're hungry. Yep. They're all just hiding right by the shadow lines. And uh, they're tricky. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Let's try something else. If you guys are wondering what reel I'm using, it might look kind of strange to you, or it might look very familiar to you. It might be nostalgic to some of you too. Um, so this is the Mitchell 300. It's actually the first spinning reel ever produced, I think. Um, but anyways, this is made, handmade, and these are made in France, and they came out around the 1950s, 1960s, and the world was introduced to the first spinning reel. Now this thing is really cool because um, these things last for frickin' ever. Um, you can open it up and there's really only two or three gears in there. There's no bearings, no ball bearings. It's very minimalist and um, it has definitely been able to survive the years because this is working like new. Just look at how it reels. The spool stays still. And look at that. Isn't that weird, guys? Yeah. So today we're fishing with vintage reels and vintage lures. And I'm having a ton of fun. All right, so we tried the crab. That worked all right. Just, it's, it was harder to fish because crabs move slow and I didn't want to move this too fast. Uh -huh. This worked really well. Yeah. It was one after another on this little guy. Um, next, we're trying this orange cricket. Oh. I bet you this will work well too, just because of the color. Right. No bite so far. Die. We didn't charge that last night? No. Just step into the light. Like, even there, you're good. <gasps> oh, no! What happened? I didn't set the hook hard enough. That was, I heard it pop right there. Then it was gone. I know, no, you were on it, it. I heard it pop and then it, it, it smacked it. No. You were on it, man. I was like, you did like a twirl to get to it. I know. <laughs> Dang. The hook was too small. Look, look how, look how much hook is showing in this. It's too small for their mouths. They're really now I'm just gonna let it really yeah. hang out. Yeah. Hang loose. Hang loose. You're gonna hang loose. No! <laughs> I missed another big one. Look what it does. It takes the hook all the way down. What the heck? That just snapped me off. What? It just snapped me off. What the heck? There's something big there. What do you think? I don't know. There's something big. I'm going to get it. Okay, so it took the cricket, the whole thing, and snapped me. This is this is very light line, eight pound test, uh, because these hooks are very small. So now I'm going to use the cricket, uh, the the beetle, or whatever this is. Look at that. Hmm. The hook is still so small. How am I gonna hook this? Do your best. I'm gonna do my best. I believe in you. Even if I don't catch it, I'm still winning because I'm having fun. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, got it. I got it. You got it. Another tiny schoolie. You got it. All right. See, the other one got my drag going like crazy earlier. This is not what I was trying to hit. So there's no doubt that these work. Yeah, that was first pass. But we seem to only be really catching small ones with these. Maybe yeah. if we if we tried using the bigger lures, 
Do we catch something bigger? Let me try one more time. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> Did it take it? Look what happened. Completely snapped the hook. What? It snapped the hook. I told you there's something big there. Either that, or these are really, or these old, are really old hooks. Yeah. They were sharp, they're still sharp. They're not rusted, but this is a dunner. This is a gone dunner. All right, the consensus is these vinyl, these vinyl baits, these little toy baits, they worked really well. We had a lot, a lot of bites, got a lot of fish, but my problem with it is the hooks are really small that it came with. If you switched out the hooks, maybe it'll be a different story. And um, the crab was really hard to work. Um, other than that, I think they worked great. They worked. They worked what? really well. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that. Let me know if you're interested in learning more about this reel because I've lately been somewhat obsessed with. Uh, obsessed. <laughs> okay, I, I've bought three vintage reels in the past three days. Four. Four days. No, four reels. Four reels. I got four reels. They're so cool. They're so cool, and I really like them because I can work on them and I can I can. Yeah, they're cool. Mess they're with cool. them, and they're just really cool looking reels. Anyways, let me know what you think about this, these vintage stuff um, and uh, comment that below. We want to thank all of our subscribers, old and new, the people who have been coming since the beginning, the people who never miss our show. We love you guys. Thank you. Um, if you guys are interested, we have our entire gear list, everything that we usually, everything that we use in the show um, and the locations that we're fishing, it's all on our new website. And it's all on our brand new website. Go to senkoskipper.com. Um, we spent a lot of time building this and ho in hopes to help you guys with your fishing and learning how to fish. And learning more about us. And just learning yeah. more about us in general. So check out our website, senkoskipper.com. Um, we made it especially for you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. Bye.